Um, you know, I did many comedy shows where, like, you know, those lost in translation where I or some other foreigner made silly mistakes in English. But today I wanted to do something different. And this is actually, you know, because two can play the game. So this is about English-speaking American, and not just people, but actually corporations that have made some very interesting mistakes in their foreign marketing campaigns. Um, like, for instance, Coca-Cola. So when they went to China, they started searching how do you say Coca-Cola in Chinese, and it's tricky, so they kind of came up with Keikukela, that's the best that I can do this in Chinese. But what they didn't know, that that actually translates in Chinese as bite the wax tadpole. <laughs> or female horse stuffed with wax. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, they had to go through 40,000 of those Chinese characters to find something better for Coca-Cola. So. And Pepsi also had some trouble when they went to Taiwan because you know how they have that slogan, come alive with Pepsi generation? Well, when they translated that in Taiwanese, it came out as Pepsi will bring your ancestors back from the dead. <laughs> That's a spooky drink. Anyway. <laughs> And then Kentucky Fried Chicken. They also went to China, and uh, you know how they say finger licking good? So their Chinese translation became, eat your fingers off. <laughs> and um, Salem cigarettes, you know, they say Salem feeling free. So when they went to Japan and they made their international, you know, sign, then it actually sounded, when you smoke Salem, you're going to be so refreshed that your mind will be free and totally empty. <laughs> so. <laughs> now, one of my favorites, this is the General Motors when they went into South America and they promoted their Chevy Nova. Don't know if some of you heard this story. Um, basically, they translated into Spanish, and what they didn't know that no va in Spanish means won't go. <laughs> yeah. And so they were kind of wondering because the car wasn't really selling. And, <laughs> and um, now Parker Pan, you know, the company, the ballpoint pan company, uh, they went into Mexico, and their um, original slogan was it won't leak in your pocket and embarrass you. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> they know already. Now, many people make this mistake because in Spanish, embarazada, actually, it doesn't mean embarrass. It actually means get pregnant. <laughs> so, so the slogan became, it won't leak in your pocket and make you pregnant. <laughs> You know, I can even see like, like you're putting that cap on that pen, you know, like a condom, and you say, practice safe writing. Yeah. <laughs> and, like. and then, um, now Ford, uh, when they went to Brazil with Pinto, their Pinto actually flopped because turns out that Pinto in Brazil, in, in their slang, means tiny male genitals. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to drive that car. <laughs> now this one is funny too because this is to be fair translating back into English. So the Scandinavian company that makes vacuum cleaners, Electrolux, they made a slogan like, nothing sucks like Electrolux. <laughs> you know, nothing sucks like Electrolux. <laughs> Anyway, um, and it gets better from here. And um, the Coors Beer Company, when they went to Spain, their uh, original slogan was, turn it loose. And somehow it came out in Spanish as, suffer from diarrhea. <laughs> well, when you gotta go. Oh, it's close, but yeah. 
anyway. <laughs> and I always like to save the best for last, so... Um, now, you, you guys know this, uh, you know, this chicken guy, the Frank Perdue, the chicken man, and you have this guy with the bird, right? And so, when they went to Mexico, I guess there's a lot of Spanish translations. <laughs> so, basically, th they have this uh, poster of this man with a bird, and it says, it takes a tough man to make a tender chicken, right? And it went horribly, horribly wrong in translation because they've printed all these posters and billboards and, you know, you, there was this, this guy, the man, the Frank Perdue, with his bird all over Mexico. And it read, actually, it takes a hard man to make the chicken aroused. <laughs> To be continued next time. <laughs>